Hello children, how are you? My name is Teacher Nyawera. Did you have a good day today? How was school? Welcome to today's devotion. I want us to talk about our country Kenya today and pray for our country. The verse for today is Psalm 127.1 that says, Unless the Lord builds the house, it builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. Did you know that each country has an army that protects its nation? Here in Kenya, we have the coat of arms. Do you know what that is? Our coat of arms has lions, it has a shield, and it has spears. That symbolizes protection over the country. But we know, we trust that God protects Kenya. And so we want to pray today that we will trust in God to protect our land because it says unless the Lord builds a house, unless the Lord watches over the city, all of this is done in vain. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for the country, our country, Kenya. We thank you, O oh God, Lord, that you are the one who protects us. Heavenly Father, we believe that you are the one who shields us, O oh God, Lord, from any attack, any harm from the evil one. We ask, O oh God, Lord, even as we pray for our country, that you will protect it, Heavenly Father, and we trust that you are where we find our help and our refuge. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching today's devotion. Tune in for the video of the day. Stories of the Bible. Nehemiah rebuilds the wall. This is Nehemiah. That's me. Who was a Jewish man who worked for a Persian king, Artaxerxes, the king of Babylon. Many of the Jews had been sent to Babylon years before because they had disobeyed God. One day, Nehemiah heard a report that the Jews who had returned to Judah were having a hard time and that the walls of Jerusalem were broken down and the gates had been burned. This made Nehemiah sad. He didn't eat any food for days and prayed to God for the Jews. He told God he was sorry for the wrong things he and his people had done. He reminded God of his promises and that God had said, If you obey my commands, I will gather you together again. Nehemiah asked for God to give him success as he went to ask the king for help. Nehemiah then went to do his job for the king. The king asked why Nehemiah was sad, so Nehemiah told the king about his people in Judah. Nehemiah prayed and told the king he wanted to rebuild the city of Jerusalem. He asked for letters from the king that would help him travel safely to Jerusalem and get the supplies he needed to rebuild the city. God helped Nehemiah, and the king gave Nehemiah all he asked for. Huh, phew. Nehemiah went to Jerusalem and checked out the walls. Hmm. He went to the people and said, Come on, let's rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Let's, let's do this. this. And the people agreed and started that good work. Meanwhile, there were some officials from nearby lands who heard Nehemiah was rebuilding the wall and were upset. Oh man! They laughed at the Jews and made fun of them. But Nehemiah said, Hold on! The God of heaven will give us success. We serve him. Nah, whatever. Many Jews worked together to rebuild the wall, including the priests men who worked with gold, a man who made perfume, leaders from nearby villages, servants, guard, traders, and daughters as well. All the people worked with all their hearts. The officials from other lands planned to fight the Jews, but the Jews prayed to God and put guards on duty day and night. Nehemiah stationed people to defend the city where it was weak. From that day on, 
half of the people did the work with swords at their sides, and the other half were armed to defend the people working and the city. Nehemiah reminded them, our God will fight for us. They worked from sunrise until the stars came out. After 52 days, the city wall was finally finished. All of Judah's enemies were afraid because they realized that God helped people finish the work. Jerusalem was large. It had a lot of room, but only a few people lived there. Hmm. So God gave Nehemiah the idea to gather more people to come and live in Jerusalem now that the wall had been rebuilt. And many people returned home to Israel as God gathered his people together again. A teacher of God's law named Ezra came and read the book of the law to all people who could understand. Yeah! Then they worshiped God and promised to follow God's commands. <laughs>